what's up guys Glock9 here and welcome back to Nightmare it is the morning of day 28 and the first thing I want to do is spend this one skill point that we have so I'm gonna go into agility again still working towards maxing out run and gun all right let's get this chem station turned on it's finishing off some gunpowder and then it's gonna craft gasoline this forge is smelting down lead and crafting out bullet casings uh, this forge is of course smelting down stone and crafting out cement and this forge is smelting down clay, crafting out steel, rebar frames, then more steel, and the mixers are making concrete and crushed sand. Now, the first thing we're going to do this morning is kill this screamer. Where is she at? Here comes big boy. The party's starting already. Fuck. Out of here, big boy. Oh, shit. Chill, lady. Hey, there she is. Get out of here. Are we good? I think we're good. Okay, so first thing we're going to do this morning is some upgrading to this base with steel. We're going to start with the hallway. Because now that we can craft steel, we can easily make some vault hatches. But I wouldn't want to put a vault hatch down in the hallway until the hallway is completely steel. Um, even that might cause some issues, putting a vault hatch down. They might just want to beat through the uh, reinforced concrete. And maybe not, because they'll have to beat through two blocks of reinforced concrete versus just one uh, vault hatch. Either way, doing some upgrading here with steel, which we are out of now. We need to put some hatches down. Uh, we'll get to that, though. And the next thing we're doing is building a second base. I have an idea for kind of a stupid, it's kind of a stupid idea, I'll be honest. <laughs> but I have an idea for a base, and I want to try it out. And that's what we're going to do. It's going to be a 5x5. Five five. That's what we're going to start with anyway. Is this a good place to build? That's a little too close. Let's push it out a little bit further. I want to be relatively close to our base, so if or when this base we're, that we're building now fails, we can always fall back to uh, the base that we know works. <laughs> so basically what we're doing is 5x5, uh, five five, and I'm leaving an opening in the middle. And we're going to build this up about eight rows. All right, so there's the foundation, five by five with a hole in the middle. And I'll explain why uh, in a little bit. Uh, we could build this out a little more if we wanted to, just for more foundational support, but not going to worry about that right now. Let's just keep building up, leaving the hole in the middle. And we want to go up, actually, not eight, we want to go up five, and then we're going to want to leave um, an opening of two blocks, and then go up to eight from there. You'll see, when I'm done, it'll all make sense. So that's five high right there. So on the sixth row, we're going to leave an opening in the middle that runs to the, uh, the hole in the center of this thing. And we're going to do that too high. For, so we're going to do that for the sixth row and the seventh row. All right, and now for the eighth and final row, we are just going to cover the whole thing except for the hole in the center. That ah, we're out of concrete. Shit, I thought I brought enough. I guess I didn't. We got more back home. Let's go grab some. grab some more steel as well so we can continue upgrading our main base here okay so now that we are eight high here we want to craft some ladders 
so we can go down this hole we left open in the middle. Okay, so let's work our way down here. And then I want to continue going down, dig a hole and dig an escape tunnel out of here, but I'm not going to worry about that now. We'll work on that later. Let's get up here. Uh, oh, shit, I made a mistake. Uh, these blocks got to go. This one right here has to go. And this one right here has got to go. All right, and the reason for that is because I'm going to put a sledgehammer junkie right here, and it won't fit in a one block wide space, so I had to open it up there. All right, so what we're going to do with this now is create a spiral staircase. And um, we're going to start over here on this side. Let me get rid of these frames. I'll climb up here and pick them up from the top so we don't lose any. So by doing this spiral staircase, we can essentially go as high as we want. Theoretically, we can just keep going. Um, now, can I do... Are there stairs in the rebar frames? There are not. I guess we're... I guess we'll just use ramps then. It's pretty much the same thing as stairs, right? The zombies react to them the same way they would react to stairs, so we'll just use ramps. So instead of a spiral staircase, this will be a spiral ramp case, I guess. So this is how we're going to do it. Let's go back to blocks here. We're going to go ramp, block, ramp, block, ramp, block. Okay, so now the game plan is to put hatches, probably starting right here, just to kind of slow them down a little bit, right? And then put a hatch, probably a vault hatch right here, and then one on top so it'll stop the zombies in their tracks right here, and the sledgehammer turret will be right there, and it will push them off of this thing, putting them into a loop, and we'll stand right here kind of fighting them, but I'm going to continue this staircase around to the top of this base, and then we need to probably figure out something that will protect us from vultures. And that's it. Pretty simple. But like I was saying, theoretically, we can just keep going higher and higher and higher with this. Whoops, what the fuck am I doing? I didn't want to put a ladder there. I want to put blocks there. Um... But I'm not going to keep going higher and higher with this. I just want to test it out at this height and see if it even works. If it fails, we can bail out and go back to our current base, which we know works fine. But if this works, then awesome. I just wanted to do something different. I wanted to switch it up. I don't want this series to get boring or repetitive. So what the hell? We got the fucking materials to use, you know? We might as well mess around and try some experiments here and just try to enjoy ourselves. And of course, yeah, do something a little risky because if you're not doing something a little risky, then uh, what the hell are you doing? You know what I mean? You got to take risks. With risks come rewards. All right, that's good for now. We'll work on it a little bit more later. We need to dig an escape tunnel out of there, which is also going to be our way in and out of the base. Uh, we need to put in hatches, and we need to figure out a way to possibly protect us from vultures. But we got tonight and two more days to work on it, so we'll definitely get it done by Horde Night. Uh, for now, I want to do some looting. And if I remember correctly, I thought there was a Navisgain Creamery in the southeast corner of this town. But... Uh, I'm starting to second-guess myself. Maybe that's the town to the west? Yeah, it's not this one. Um, alright, you know what? Let's go north, then. We'll go to the city to the north. There's a cathedral there, one of those big giant churches. Haven't raided one of those in a while, and there's some pretty good loot there, so... Let's just go do that. Alright, here we are. Big old church. This should be fun. We're going to start in the uh, basement here. I don't think there's anything over here, is there? Nope. Go in through here. Let's close that door. I don't believe there's anything in here either. No. Let's go. Ah, this floor gives out, though. I remember that. Doesn't it? Yeah, there it goes. And we got some zombies. 
Here we go. Surprise, bitch. Yeah, who'd you think was breaking into your church, huh? Pastor Glock is here to clean things up. Oh, thank you for your contribution here. 567 bucks. Were you stealing from the collection plate, bitch? We better fix this hole before I fall through it. Got some more zombies down here or what? I'm pretty sure there are. How many did we kill up at the top of the steps? Like three or four? Some honey. I don't think there's anything else under here, right? Nope. Zombies? Pretty damn quiet. All right, fuck it. Let's uh, start looting then. Got some bookshelves here. SMG schematic. Any schematic that we've already read, I'm just going to read now. Instead of holding on to them. We got there. Uh, dusters. We already have one, but I'll read that book and we'll read the SMG schematic. Throw this glass jar in there. I know you can sell the uh, already read schematics for XP and money, but we got so much money already. I don't feel like uh, loading my inventory up with uh, schematics we've already read. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, crawling buddy. Come on down here. Come on. Jump! Well, you can't really jump, you don't have any legs. Come on! Oh, fuck it. I'll help you out. There you go. I never said I didn't do anything for you. What do we got here? Robotic damage. Robotic weapons do 10% more damage. That's beautiful. That's a real good one. I know there are zombies down here. Come on. Let's try that again. Wake up, fuckers. There we go. Chill, buddy. Let's get up here behind this door. Oh, got a cop down there. Reload the shoddy, but I'm gonna go melee on these assholes. Let's go. All right, keep closing the door in their face. It's a good strategy. Oh, cop made his way through. So did Thick. Thick's dead. The cop is not dead, though. Come on. There we go. Oh, got a straggler. Painkiller. Did I read that book that allows us to get precious gems from breaking apart coffins? I don't remember, and I'm too lazy to check. So far, I'm just getting wood. Nice, a few more lockpicks, some 762 ammo. I really don't think I read that book. All I'm getting from breaking these coffins apart is wood. Man, almost hour 16. I didn't realize, uh, oh shit. Just got thicked. I didn't realize how quick this day was getting away from us here. I could put a frame in this hallway while we search these coffins, but I'm not worried about it. We're good. Still breaking apart these coffins, even though we ain't getting shit from them. Oh, that's nice. Some more ammo. Nothing in there. There we go. Back up. Sick of your shit, Thick. Oh, hey, lady. Fuck out of here. She's, uh, feral. Now she's headless. We clear up here? I think so. Some food. Yucca juice. I'll drink one and take one. Uh, now what? Well, we don't drop down there. Oh, hey, Kenny. Oh, hey, Kenny. Oh, hey, Kenny. Fuck, man. Three Kennys in a row? Not surprised. You motherfuckers need to repent for all your damn sins. 
Oh, forgot an ammo pile down there. Let's hop down there and get it. Not gonna leave this behind. Okay. I don't think I forgot anything else, right? No. Well, I don't feel like pulling back up there. Let's just go around. And uh, real quick, also, the Freaker campaign is 100% funded. Actually, it's more than that. We were Our goal was 250. I think last I checked, 270 packs have sold. That is crazy. Thank you all so much. Everyone who contributed, everyone who just shared the campaign, uh, it really means a lot to me. And 250 wasn't the cap. Like I said, I think we're at 270 right now. So uh, if you still want to get involved, there's four days left. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. The link is down below. And once the campaign time has run out, we are going to go to production and all of these orders will ship out. And then, of course, I'm going to get some money into the hands of St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. And we got some zombies down below. I'm sure they're going to be trying to work their way up to where we are. I'll take the plastic parts there. Uh, so let's go ahead and close this door. And see what we got behind this door. Whoop. Oh, here we go. Let's close that shit. Alright. Give it a second. Let them pile up. And then let them have it. Oh, damn it, Kenny. How many Kennys can you find in one church? Whoop. Coming up the stairs here. Yeah, he made it. Get the fuck out of here. Let's finish him off. See ya. Let's knock these steps out just to be safe. Alright, we got like the main room here. Oh yeah, they're waking up. Can they get can they find their way up to me? They gotta be able to, right? Oh yeah. He's down. I'll get the shotgun out. Get out of here. Fuck off. Alright. That was only three. Oh, here comes Kenny. Oh, and a radiated cop. Let's get behind this door. Damn, they're breaking all sorts of shit. Damn! <laughs> Big man just pushed his way through. Come on. Die already. Holy shit. We gotta go. Oh, he's gonna blow up. Go ahead and do it then. There go the steps and the window. Oh, shit. All right. Well, we're pretty much done with this place in terms of zombies anyway. Still plenty of loot to grab. I mean, there might be some more zombies too, but pretty much we're done. This was like the main room here. We got the confessionals. But I think I'll skip my uh, confession for today. Jeep chassis, which we already read, and this spear hunter book, which I really don't care too much about. We're not using spears in this playthrough. Now, we did read both of the parts that we need to craft the Jeep, but it requires a whole lot of steel, and I'd rather use that steel towards upgrading our base right now. I'm happy with the motorcycle. However, I will craft the gyrocopter if we can find the chassis schematic. Because we already found the gyrocopter parts schematic. So if we can find the chassis, then I'll build the I'll build the gyrocopter. Thou stupid fucking stun baton. Alright, we're going up. Some more books uh, over here. And over here, uh, and a whole bunch of shit we've already read. Here we go. This should be leading us up to the main loot. Uh, oh, no, shit. That's right. We got to go outside here. This is actually the best part of this POI. I love this, that they make you walk across this uh, balance beam here. I mean, you don't have to, but... Why wouldn't you? This is like the best shit right there. How nerve-wracking is that? Oh, I forgot there are birds right here, too. To make your experience even more fun. Let's, uh, let's fix this floor here. At least part of it. This way we can get up and down this ladder without worrying about falling down there.
And here we are, main loot. That was pretty easy. Hour 19. We're looking good. This is all we're gonna do in terms of looting today, though. We'll stop home, we'll drop some shit off, we'll pick up some supplies, and we'll head back over to the, uh, spiral staircase base. Get some more work done over there before we call it a day. Pig. Let's go do some hunting. And by hunting, I mean blow its fucking head off with a shotgun. Uh, let's grab a bit of coal real quick. Alright, that was good. We'll get some more nitrate powder in the next episode so we can make even more gum powder. With this one skill point, I'm going into agility again. That's good. But, uh, yeah, I've got a good amount of gunpowder in the chem station. Watch out, buddy. Um, but more is always better because I want to make more ammo and I definitely want to make more pipe bombs for Horde Knight. Hey, let's grab some more wood real quick because we're going to need some to uh, frame out this underground tunnel. And the last thing I want is to be digging this fucking tunnel and run out of wood and then have to come up and cut down trees. So let's do that now so we don't got to worry about it. Alright, I think that's good enough for tonight. We went down pretty deep. Still gotta go a little bit deeper, and then we'll work our way out of there. But, uh, no big deal. We'll finish that in no time. I just want to get back home. This way I can kind of go through our inventory, get the forges set up for, uh, the next episode and all that shit. We'll do some mining, uh, here at home as well, just to get some more stone and iron and all that jazz. But, uh, that's good. We made some really good progress on the base. The new base, anyway, and the uh, current base in terms of getting it upgraded with steel. What the fuck is going on here? Did our home get attacked? Oh, speaking of attacked, you know one thing I also wanted to do? Uh, grab this bedroll. I'm going to put the bedroll down at the current base. Because, you know, we were having those issues where the zombies were like popping up out of the floor. And a bedroll will also stop zombie spawns. So will the land claim block. I know there's a lot of controversy there, but yes, a land claim block stops zombie respawns. But I don't know if it will stop horde zombie spawns. I don't know if the bedroll will either. But I'm going to try it. We'll put the bedroll down at the current base and uh, we'll go from there. But hey, we might end up spending the entire horde night at the staircase base if it works out. We'll see. We still got a couple of more days before that happens. Well, actually, one more episode, because then uh, on day 30, we'll have all day to work on that base, but then that night, we'll be fighting the Horde. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Nightmare, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.